Whenever someone says they only use herbs for garnish, I want to pull my hair out. I want handfuls of herbs. I want pints. And we are going big today. We're making spring herbs soup with fregola and pincha. So this recipe is actually a version of a Sardinian herb soup. Traditionally, the herbs are foraged from the beautiful Mediterranean island of Sardinia. But today, my herbs are foraged from aisle one at Pex Market. Before we get to those herbs, we wanna get our soup base going. Heat three tablespoons of olive oil in a large Dutch oven. In the olive oil, we are gonna cook four ounces of diced pancetta. We're gonna cook this for about three minutes. We're not looking for it to get crisp. We just wanna render that fat because it's gonna add a ton of flavor to this soup. While this cooks, let's go ahead and get our aromatics ready. Finally chop a medium onion. We're gonna go ahead and just add that onion in there. We wanna add some salt and pepper. We're gonna cook this for about five minutes. We just wanna soften the onion. This looks so good, but it smells even better. We're gonna take it up another notch because we're gonna deglaze that pan with about a half a cup of dry white wine. While that's happening, you're just gonna to wanna to scrape up any brown bits from the pan because those are gonna add a ton of flavor to your soup. One of the ingredients that makes this a classic Sardinian soup is fregola. It is a pearl-like pasta that is toasted. It's one of my favorites. In a pinch, you can actually use Israeli couscous here. I'm gonna go ahead and thinly slice two garlic cloves. All right, garlic in, and one teaspoon of fennel seeds. And then crushed red pepper. You just wanna cook it till it's nice and fragrant. And then we're gonna go in with some chicken broth. So we are using two quarts of chicken broth. We're gonna bring this to a boil, and once that happens, we're gonna knock that heat back, and we're gonna let it simmer for about 14 to 16 minutes until that fregola is just al dente. And this is the perfect amount of time to talk herbs. Most of the time when you buy parsley, you get these big bunches, and you gotta figure out what to do with them. Well, you're gonna make herb soup. Fortunately for you, I've got a mad genius tip for removing the stems from all this parsley. Take you know, each sort of stem of parsley and you're gonna insert it into your slotted spoon and you're gonna pull it. <gasps> Magic! Stem goes in the compost, leaves go in a pile. So we're gonna need to finely chop this, but before we do, let's go ahead and start pulling our tarragon. Tarragon is, has sort of this anise or licorice -y flavor or aroma, and it's really, really tender. When you chop it, you wanna be very sexy about it, and when you pull it off the stems, you wanna just be sort of delicate, as opposed to sort of running my hand all the way down, which can sometimes bruise the leaves. If you are not a fan of tarragon or that licorice -y flavor, you can leave it out from this recipe. I will not kill you. And then of course we have some chives, we went all in with these herbs here. We've got all of them. Our fregola needs another couple minutes, which is gonna give us the perfect amount of time to chop all of these herbs. We don't wanna be aggressive here. Make sure your knife is really sharp, and what you're gonna do is sort of bunch up your herbs and then glide your knife through them, almost like you're slicing them as opposed to chopping them. I like to sort of scoop them up and then rotate them, and then I do the exact same thing and I slide my knife through one more time all right, parsley done, and next up is the tarragon. So get that into a nice little pile. Last but certainly not least are our chives here. Herbs chopped. And let's check our fregola. Look at this. You can see it's sort of swelled a little. It should be al dente, which means it should just be a little firm to the bite. Next thing is we're gonna add some cannellini beans here. These are rinsed and drained. They're not gonna only make this a little bit heartier, but they're gonna pack in a little bit of protein. Because these beans are already cooked, once they are hot, you are ready to go. It is time to make this soup herbalicious. So first up, parsley. Next up, tarragon into the soup. And finally, we're going in with those chives. Bam! You're gonna wanna cut that heat right away. Again, because 
These are really tender herbs and we're adding them at the last minute. At this point, you gotta serve it. You cannot wait. If you would like to sort of do this ahead, add the herbs right before you serve it. And we are ready to go here. Look at that. It's like the Emerald City in a pot. And we're just gonna take this a little bit further. We're gonna add a salty bite with some Pecorino Romano cheese. Okay, so now I'm gonna taste it. Gonna taste it. Mm, unbelievable, like literally fantastic. I can't even, I can't even. I am not one to choose favorites, but I gotta say, the tarragon is really standing out here. It's like light, but it's super satisfying. This is so perfect for spring. I mean, you barely need anything. You just need a Dutch oven, a few handfuls of herbs, and you are ready to go. Mm -hmm.